Here we have a small assembly line or perhaps a work cell. The different colors on the chart here represent whether the activities are value added, non-value added or required non-value added. And you're free to change these to any color that might suit your particular needs here. Um, these, this data actually came from a video time study product. And you can see that here that they have little video uh, snippets that have been attached to each of the individual activities. If I double click on this, it will open up the uh, video and actually play it for you. Here you can see the operator actually inserting the components. I'm going to stop this and exit out of this. Now to balance the line, you can of course grab activities and move them around to different points in the chart, but that's a little manual intensive. We want to give you a better tool to do that. So what I do here is click on the lean analysis, click on balance work, and this will bring up our line balancing module. We can balance uh, lines in up to th in three different ways, uh, by operator, by production, or by tag time. In this example, let's say we wanted to run it with five operators instead of the seven we have in the background. What you would do is move the work content around to the correct sequence before you call the balance, then you click on balance. It will then find the highest utilization it can get for these five operators. Click on the detail. It will show you what it's going to do and then click on the save and it will reorganize the work into the five stations for you. At that point, you might decide I want to add my tag time. So you can put your tag time in here. And let's just say the tag time is going to be 65 here. And that will draw the line across the top. You could even come in here and you can say task totals and you can print them right here. So this is an example of how you can use the lean analysis balance work options to balance your lines according to changes in operators, production or tag time needs.